Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah, and I had a request for a video about the mediums I use in my coloring books. So I wanted to start off um, a new series. This is a two-part series. Um, the first part is going to be the water-based mediums that I use, which is the bulk of my mediums. And the second part is going to be a separate video, but it's going to focus more on the non-water-based mediums. And I felt that was essential to break those apart because some people like um, only using or have only used colored pencils, gel pens, fine liners, things like that. Whereas other people are kind of expanding their, their horizons here um, with the coloring books and kind of going into different things that maybe they've not tried before. Um, one quick note is that um, this video is not about how to use these mediums. Um, I will do a separate video for that as well. These are basically, um, this series is just two-part series on the mediums I use and why I've chosen those particular products. So to start off with, I have the Spectrum Noir Aqua um, water-based marker here. And as you can see, the top and the bottom both have the color on them. So it's easy to tell what color you're getting. These come... These come in pack of 12, um, in packs of 12, and there's four different packs. Um, this particular one is the primary pack. I would recommend this one first um, to get first, um, just because it's got a nice array of colors here, and, and these um, you can mix easily on an acrylic block, which I will get into later, to get another color that maybe you don't have. So I would recommend the primary set first. Um, um, one thing I do like about these is they have a dual tip. Um, there is a fine tip on this, if I can get it to focus. Let me see here. It's a fine tip right there. And you'll notice the shape of the marker itself is such that it's not going to roll off of your workspace. It's going to remain flat where it's at, which is really nice. Um, the other side of the marker, oops, that's the same side, is the brush tip, um, which is not as nice as the Zig um, Clean Color Real Brush tips. Um, as you can see, it does flex but it does not spread apart like the, the zigs do. Um, so I, I like these. I've only found a couple coloring books that they work in, however. So um, I personally wouldn't recommend these as a starting point for watercolor markers or the water-based markers. I would not recommend getting these first. These would be something that you would get after you've gotten used to the watercolor markers that work really well. So speaking of those, let me switch over to the Zig Clean Color Real Brush marker. This is the 60 pack. I got these from Amazon for um, a little under $70. So it was just a little bit over a dollar for each pen. You can buy these separately. Unlike the Spectrum Noir line, you cannot get these separate. You have to buy the entire pack to get these. Whereas the Zigs, you can buy individually. Um, so one thing I do like about them is that there are the colored areas on the bottom of the markers. However, one thing I don't like about them is that that color is not also on the top. I wish they would have done that. I know the Frugal Crafter has a video on these particular markers, and what she has done is taken each one, each marker, and colored in an area on a piece of paper, used a hole punch to punch those out, and then glued those to the tops. Since this is a flat top, um, this will be able to be glued on the top without any difficulty at all. I'm probably not going to take the time to do that, but that is a great idea. Um, so... About this set, I really like this set. Out of all the watercolor markers I have ever tried, these are the top of the line. Um, I would recommend these 
first before buying any other type of uh, water-based marker. Um, it comes with um, the number of each one and, let see if I can get that a little closer, uh, the number of each marker and the color right here. So you can order these separately. And I'll let you see what else is on the pin here. They are made in Japan. Um, as far as the tip goes, I want you to see this really well. So I'm hoping that it's going, you see how that spreads out? That is a real brush. Um, it works like a real brush. It is a real brush. That's why they call it a real brush. Um, fantastic marker set. These are my number one choice as far as aqua markers go. And I can tell you that they blend really well on an aqua, I'm sorry, on an acrylic block. And so if you don't have the color that you want, you can blend these colors together and create a new color. So you don't need the 60 pack. You don't need the 80 pack. Um, they come in, I believe, 6 pack, 12 pack, 24, 32, I think 40, 60, and the new packs that are out are 80 packs. There are only 80 colors. So um, I got these specifically because they were, um, believe it or not, cheaper than the 40, I think it's a 48 pack on Amazon, um, as they were a returned product and they had them returned because there was damage to this outside case. There's not much damage to the outside case as far as I can tell, just the sticker on here, um, which does not bother me in the least bit. And these were, I believe, $68 for the entire set. That's a still. So I did get these from Amazon. So those are um, the only two watercolor markers that I have. Um, so they're the only ones that I use now. I have tried the Tombows and the Distress Markers, and I'm, I'm just not real fond of those. Um, these, I have several different uh, slick stick kind of things. I think I've got three different kinds of products as far as these go. These are really fun, and these are gelatos. These are the Faber-Castell gelatos. Um, they work um, just like a tube of chapstick. Um, you take the top off. Um, you can crank it out from the end. You can use a paintbrush and get water on your brush and brush it on here. This does not have water on it, but brush it on here and then you can use it as paint on your paper. I really like them for that reason. I think they're a fun product to use. They come in several different size packs. Um, packs of four are usually around $10. Um, sometimes you can find them for a lot more expensive um, on Amazon. So I recommend getting these products from either Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabrics, someplace like that, that you can use their 40, 50, 60% off coupon for these. I've got the metallic set here. Um, I've got several metallics. I've got, I believe, the orange set. You can buy them in packs, four packs of specific color ranges, like the pack of greens came with these. Packs of orange came with the red and those, um, and so on. And I believe I have the um, regular starter set that I, I believe have 10 tubes in them. Um, but these are fairly expensive compared to the other slick stick type things that I have. Um, so again, I would not recommend these for starting out. I would recommend the product that I'm about to talk about to start out with the slick sticks. I would recommend the Recollection Collection. Um, and this is a Michaels brand thing here. And these work very similar to the Gelatos. First off, they are a fraction of the cost. This whole set was like seven bucks. And the only thing about these that I have to warn you about is that they have shimmer in them. It's not glitter. It's like a shimmer. Um, so they will sparkle on your page. Um, unfortunately, they don't have ones 
that don't have the shimmer to them. And these work just the same as the gelatos. Take the cap off, you twist it. One thing I do like about these, however, that the gelatos do not have is one, more product, and two, there's this really nifty little gripper right here um, on three sides, and it makes it very easy to hold and control that stick. Um, so these are the only colors that these come in. However, again, just like the other watercolor products that I'm going to show you, you can blend these on an acrylic block and create colors that you do not have in this set, which is always fun. And here comes my cat. I apologize about that. That is Willow, again, getting into her water. So these are the Michaels brand Slick Sticks, um, water-soluble pastels, if you will, um, Recollections collection. Next, I have my watercolor. I'm going to get my cat out of the way real quick. There. Because she was about to bump my camera. <laughs> Um, next is regular watercolor, um, and what I have is the um, Koi Watercolor uh, Pocket Filled Sketchbox Set. I'm going to zoom in on this. I actually got this at a garage sale. I got these for a dollar at a garage sale. Um, they were not used when I got them, so that was a still and a half. When you open it up, it comes with a nice little tray here. Um, that pops right out like that. It comes with a aqua brush, and this does wind counterclockwise. Um, that took me a while to figure out. <laughs> um, so if you get this set, remember it goes counterclockwise for the aqua brush. And then it comes with uh, several different colors here. And then on the sides are these little sponges, and these are for when you have your marker... I'm sorry, your aqua brush in the field, wherever you're at. This is a great set to take on vacation, to the beach, wherever you're going. You can get this wet by squeezing the tube slightly and get your color. You know, pick whatever one you want out. And if you get done using your color, you can push it again and the water will come through your brush and kind of clean it off. And you're able to wipe that off on these sponges on here. So you'll be able to clean your brushes. Um, which is just a fantastic feature for these little filled sets here. These are not the only watercolors I have, but these are the only watercolors I use in my coloring books. Um, there's not a specific reason why, um, just that they're compact, they're easy to travel with, and I really like the colors that come out of these. They're, they're pretty nice colors for being a cheaper watercolor set. And I believe brand new, um, you can buy these from Amazon for around $25. Maybe a little less, maybe just a tad more, but it's, it's around $25. So these are the watercolors that I use. The next couple things, well, actually, let me get to the other slick stick that I have. Um, type of slick stick, anyway. Let me zoom back out. And what these are, are the Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2's Water-Soluble Wax Pastels. And here comes my cat again. I'm going to wait for her to go past so the light does not... <laughs> it's okay, Willow. Um, so these are my Neocolor 2's. And I have the set of 30 here. And I will open these up for you to see. And these work much the same way as the other slick sticks that I have, the um, other gelatos and the recollections collection, except for, excuse me, <coughs> the color is not in a tube, so you don't have to twist it to make the color come out. Instead, these sharpen just like a crayon would, just like a pencil would in a pencil sharpener. Um... These are really, really nice product, and out of all of the slick stick kind of products that I have, these are definitely my top favorite. Um, the pigment is just out of this world, and um, 
it lays down very smooth. I have absolutely no problem using these things at all. Um, really nice set. And again, they come in smaller sets than the 30. I don't remember how much these were. Um, I did not buy these. They were a gift from somebody. Um, but I did look up the price and they weren't overly expensive for what you get. The other sets of the Karen Dosh that I have are their special edition sets of spring, fall, and summer. I did not get the winter special edition set because they have glitter in them. And I just, I don't really use products that have a lot of glitter in it a whole lot. Um, very seldom. So I just didn't think that they were um, something that I would get. So I didn't. And I got these three things on Etsy. And they are about $20 a pack for $10. Um, which is a very decent prize um, price for for what you get. So they're about $2 a stick. So those are the Karen Dosh Neo Color 2s. A couple more products here. First, I will start with the Prismacolor Premier Water Soluble Colored Pencils. And this is the pack of 36. This is as large of a set as you can get. With these, they come in a stack in here of three levels. And inside, it will come with a little pamphlet um, and gives you kind of tips. And it shows all the colors that you'll get in the set. Um, one thing I like about these is that you can, again, use your paintbrush or aqua brush to kind of brush the tip of the pencil that you're wanting to use and use it as a paint instead of a pencil. So you can just take your brush, rub over top of it, and use that as a paint. That's a nice feature. They work really well. The thing I don't like about them is there is absolutely no color guide on these pencils. They are plain wood with gloss over them, and the only way you can tell what color you're getting is to either go through each one and read them um, by the name on the side or look at the colors up here at the top. And as you can see, um, against a black background, that is somewhat difficult. Um, it does make it a little hard. So... I like the pencils. I think they work great. However, I would use them more and um, probably a lot more if there was some kind of color code on the outside of the pencil. That would be my one complaint for these. However, they are very inexpensive compared to the other sets that you can get. And I know Crayola has a set of watercolor colored pencils. I don't have those. I've not used those, so I can't comment on those. Um, but I do know that they have them, and they would, of course, be a lot cheaper than these. I got these on sale at a Black Friday sale at Aaron, Aaron Brothers, I think it was. Um, it's a framing store down in Georgia. And there was a Black Friday sale, and all the Prismacolor things were like 70% off. So I grabbed these and a couple other things. Um, so that's what these are. The last thing I have to show you as far as water-based products are concerned is my favorite. And these are the Derwent Ink Tents 72 pack, which is the highest pack that you can get, the largest set, of the ink pencils. Now, I say ink pencils because I was corrected on another video I knew what I meant, but I didn't say what I meant. I said they were watercolor pencils. They are not watercolor pencils. Um, they are activated with water. However, they are ink pencils. So it flows like watercolor. You can activate it like a watercolor pencil, but the pigment inside is ink, not watercolor. And you will see the difference here in these pencils and the Prismacolor pencils. Very plain. Plain as day. There's a color code here. And I just have to do this really quick because it sounds so cool. I just love that. I love that sound. So, sorry, I had to do that. Um, 
So you can see the color on the bottom here, um, very plain. And this comes with two trays. I use these quite a bit. Here is the second on here. Um, the other thing I really like about these pencils is the vibrancy of the pigment. There is nothing like these as far as pigment goes. So in a separate video, I will be doing a comparison chart between all of the water-based products that I have on a piece of paper, and you can kind of see how they work a little better and which ones you might like to try, which ones you don't like to try. A couple other things I would like to mention since it is a water-based um, video here. Most importantly, um, I have a bunch of aqua brushes. Some of them have the flat tip. You can see the flat tip there. Um, and this thing comes off. And it gives an even bigger area. So there is that. I don't know what happened to it, but it's around here someplace. It flipped off. Um, and then I've got a smaller one. And then um, these are all pointy. As you can see, they are much smaller nibs on there. And so there's several different kinds, several different ranges of sizes. Um, you saw the one. Um, this one's even smaller yet. And then there's a larger one right there. Um, and these get a lot of use. Um, they're really nice. They don't always control the water the way I want it to be controlled, which is... Um, another reason why I sometimes use paintbrushes instead. And here is my piece that I lost. Let me put that back on real quick. And this you just stick on here and it flattens out your brush. It makes it a flat brush. So those are the aqua brushes that I have. I mentioned a couple times the acrylic block. This is the acrylic block. I know that's kind of hard to see on here. Um, however, it comes um, like a acrylic block. It's just a block of acrylic. Um, you can get them with little designs on the outside or just a square, rectangle, circles, whatever. And most of them will have a grid pattern on it someplace. Um, and these are used a lot for stamps. And that's why the grid pattern's on there. Um, so you can line up your stamps on here and then stamp it down. Um, these are really nice, however, for water-based products um, to kind of have your own little palette. Um, it's just really nice. And in the other video, I will show you how to use this. The last thing I want to mention, um, probably the most important thing when using coloring books and any kind of pencil, is the pencil sharpener. I have two. And out of, out of using many different pencil sharpeners over the last many years, um, these are the two I have found that are the best and hold up the best for the longest period of time um, without having to keep sharpening your lead because it breaks. Um, these pencil sharpeners are really good about not breaking your leads <laughs> as you're sharpening them. First, I have this one, and it's a double-layered one. You open it like this. Um, this side says color, and this side says universal. So it has a large and a small, and then this one's for colored pencils. It will sharpen um, maybe not so long of a end of your pencil, but it will make it shorter and very 